Hey guys, Liverlinks here. I thought with a couple other fanfiction videos that I've been making, I might do um, a couple other ones, like this one-shot series here that's only a chapter long to kind of reflect back um, on other stories that I did. I feel like eventually on this channel I'm just going to end up reading all of my fanfictions that I have, so if any of you used to be readers or have become readers since I started doing this, then let me know what stories of mine you'd like me to read. I am of course under the name Ichigo Hatake, and I am going to dive right into the story. It's called A Lovely Stroll, it's Kid X Patty from Soul Eater, and the summary is Kid's experiencing m new feelings, feelings he's never had before, and he can't stop thinking about Patty. After going to her house and asking if she'd like to go for a walk, suddenly, many new feelings are unleashed. What will happen between Patty and Kid? One shot. I might make this a full story if you readers want. I apologize for spelling Patty wrong. Please ignore Patty. Yeah, um, that's the first thing I noticed opening this, was that it is spelled incorrectly. Um, apparently, instead of deciding to go through and correct it, I just left a note apologizing, so... That's a little bit lazy, but hey, let's just get right into it. That the kid shook his head, desperately trying to clear his head. He should be worrying about collecting Keishan souls and getting Liz and Patty to become death scythes, but something completely different was eating away at his mind. What is this? asked kid, clutching his chest and staring out in confusion. I don't understand this. Both Patty and Liz were his friends, partners, and weapons. And he understood that, yet he didn't. For some reason, he couldn't stop thinking about her. Which one of the Thompson sisters might Kid be thinking about so much? None other than the young and cute Patty. No matter what Kid did, and he tried many things, he couldn't get Patty out of his mind. Finally, he succumbed and decided to go and talk to her, thinking that maybe if he talked with her for a while and then left, that he could go back to his normal routine. He sighed, in fr he sighed in frustration and hurried over to Patty's, ringing the doorbell and waiting for her to answer. It was Liz, however, that came and answered the door. Hey, kid, she greeted, blinking and looking surprised. You didn't say you were coming over. Kid growled, feeling disgusted. Liz, that shirt. What's wrong with it? she asked, looking down at it. On one side of the purple tank top she was wearing, there was a syrup stain probably from her breakfast. Unacceptable, Kid screamed, freaking out. That shirt is no longer symmetrical. Change it at once. Liz sweat dropped inside, used to Kid's antics. All right, you little freak. I'll change right now. Come on in if you want. While Liz ran upstairs to go and change, Kid found himself face to face with Patty, who was currently sitting on the couch, eating pancakes and watching cartoons. Hey, kid, she greeted cheerfully, shoving more pancakes into her mouth. What are you doing here? I, well, kid stuttered. He decided to come here to see Patty, but he wasn't sure what he actually wanted to say to her. No matter what he did, would it even matter? Would his dreams continue to be haunted by this girl? He felt like he was going insane, thinking about her all of the time. Yet at the same time, another feeling rose in him, a feeling he couldn't quite name. He shrugged it off and quickly came up with an excuse for coming over. I thought we could take a walk, he answered lamely. Sure, Patty agreed happily, setting aside her finished plate of pancakes. Is Liz coming too? No, Kid answered immediately, almost screaming. He covered his mouth, with no idea what had come over him. He hung out with both of the girls all the time, but now he only wanted to be with Patty. Kid hissed mentally, his mind spinning as he tried to figure out what was going on with a little quotation at the end that shouldn't be there. She doesn't want to come? asked Patty, cocking her head to the side in confusion. Kid felt himself sweating, his cheeks growing warm as he stared at Patty. Though she looked confused, something about her seemed so incredible. She wore a pink tank top that was close to her sister's, and she wore a black skirt with it. Flip-flops hung loosely on her feet, and her cheeks seemed rosier than usual. Kid couldn't take his eyes away from her. Never mind why Liz isn't coming, Kid hissed. Are you coming or not? Sure, Patty quickly agreed. 
Liz is being so boring. She doesn't want to watch any horror movies with me. Let's go. Kid sweat dropped, still not completely used to Patty's weird personality. She was always smiley and hyper, but at the same time she enjoyed watching horror movies and loved scaring her sister. He wondered how much he could have... He wondered how much he could have... Kid cut himself off right there. What was he going to say? I don't even remember. There was no way that that's what's going on with him. Nope, not possible. Oh, maybe how he could have fallen in love with her? <laughs> Patty smiled at him and grabbed his arm, pulling him out and starting to walk with him. Kid blushed, suddenly feeling a bit awkward. He looked down at Patty, beginning to wonder. Could that really be what he was feeling? Or had he been mistaken? It wasn't like he'd ever experienced this emotion before. No one had ever influenced him so greatly. Patty? Kid asked as they walked down the streets, with a question mark and quotation that aren't necessary. Yeah? She asked, still smiling. Um, he stuttered, blushing again. Well, what do you think of me? What do you mean? asked Patty, being a bit dense. I mean, he sighed. What do you think of me as a person? Do you like me? Yeah, I like you, answered Patty without hesitation. You're weird about things being symmetrical or whatever, but it's fun. It makes me laugh. You can be kind of serious, though, and I think it would be nice if you smiled and laughed more, and I want to help you do that. Patty suddenly had a serious look on her face, a look that Kid had never seen before. She'd always be smiling and hollering all the time, but for the first time in her life, she looked dead serious, her eyes even a bit sad and distant as she looked into Kid's confused eyes. You want to be the one to make me smile? asked Kid, his stomach twisting up. Yeah, laughed Patty quietly, a little bit of cheer returning to her face. I'm glad I'm your friend. That way, I'll always be by your side. And the next time you smile, I'll definitely bring a camera to take a picture so I can have it forever. It's rare to see you smile from your heart. Patty, is something wrong? Kid asked, feeling a bit uncomfortable. You sound so serious. You aren't as bubbly as usual. Do you not like me when I'm serious? asked Patty, still staring into his eyes. It isn't that, answered Kid. It's just not like you. To be honest, I like both sides of you. It is kind of nice to see you smiling all the time. At the same time, I feel like I can tell you everything when you're this serious. See, I'm telling you everything I'm thinking. This is... I don't... understand. I think I do, said Patty, smiling in a different way than kid, than kids ever seen. A light blush appeared on her cheeks as she walked closer to Kid and wrapped her arms around him. Kid blushed, standing stiff. What are you doing? he questioned, feeling completely embarrassed. I'm hugging you, answered Patty. Well, why then? asked Kid, feeling panicked. Isn't that a show of affection? asked Patty, the blush growing stronger. Patty, if this is some weird joke or something, it isn't funny, yelled Kid. This side of you. I don't understand any of this. Just go back to being the normal Patty. Aren't I already the normal Patty? she asked, her words serious. What does it matter if I'm not just hyper? Are you saying that if I'm hype, if I'm, it should say, if I'm not hyper, I'm not me? Kid, I'm sure you have a different side to you, too. One that can have a lot of fun and smile freely. Can you show me that? Patty, sighed Kid, feeling more and more confused. I'm still not following you. Can't you just tell me what you're thinking? You're the one who won't come clean, she yelled, looking a bit angry. You didn't come over just to walk with me, did you? N no, Kid answered honestly, unable to lie to her. Then, Patty began, looking intensely into his eyes. What did you come over for? Answer my question, and I promise to go back to the way I was before. Kid sighed, trying to piece everything together. He himself didn't know why he'd come over. He just... I couldn't get you out of my head, Patty. I didn't know why. I just thought I should come and see you. Patty suddenly smiled widely, looking hopeful and blushing more than ever. Kid, does that mean that... you? Suddenly, Kid had fit the puzzle pieces together. This feeling that had been confusing him so much. This was love. It was an unexplainable feeling that burned deep within your heart. Now he knew why he couldn't get Patty out of his head. He
He loved her. He wanted to see her and be with her and smile with her. I think I love you, Patty, the kid finally admitted, the blush finally dying down as worries of rejection flooded into his brain. Patty blushed, no longer hugging him. There was something else she wanted to do. Honestly, I think I love you too, kid. You have your flaws and I have mine, but we can work them out together. She smiled brightly at him before closing her eyes and leaning in. The kid knew what she wanted, but he was reluctant to do it, feeling nervous and shaken up. This was like something from a dream. Finally, he gave in to his romantic side and closed his eyes, meeting Patty's lips. They kissed for quite a while, maybe a minute or two with breaths in between, but to them it felt like hours. Beautiful, unbelievable, passionate, indescribable, amazing hours. There was no time... Oh, I just used the wrong two. Okay. There was no time too long for them to be together. Forever actually seemed small at this point, but if forever was all they had together, then forever it would be. How about I walk you home now, offered Kid, holding out his hand for her to take. Patty happily took it, her cheery, rosy smile returning to her face. With hands interlocked, Patty swung their hands back and forth happily as they worked. Worked? As they walked, okay. Yeah, I've got a couple mistakes in here. Kid couldn't help but laugh a little bit. Patty would still be the same old silly Patty, even now that they were dating. No, I don't have a camera, Patty whined as she witnessed Kid's smiling face. You don't need one, he assured her, brushing some loose strands of hair out of her eyes. As long as you're around, I'm sure I'll smile a lot more. And that would indeed prove true. The end. And then I have an author's note at the end. Here you go, Abenak. A special Patty X Kid one-shot for your birthday. Happy birthday. I never would have imagined this couple, but after writing it, I like it. So I'm glad you chose this couple for me to write about. Anyway, once some other stories are done, maybe I'll consider writing one on Soul Eater. That didn't end up happening. Thank you. Thank all of you people for reading and have a great day. Look out for Kishin's Ichigo Hatake. Nice. Um, I don't know. I actually thought that that was sweet for the most part. There were some mistakes, and of course it's a one shot, so it's not like long and drawn out or anything. But yeah, I feel like that was one of the more fun ones to write. There are a lot of Liz and kid stories, but I don't see as many Patty and kid stories, which is why Abenak wanted me to write about them. So, let's look at the two reviews for this story. Mephisto Child. Aw, that was so cute. There isn't enough- There isn't enough Patty X kid stories. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. And then Abenak. Thank you so much. This is the best birthday. The best part? I have a new computer, dude. That's pretty cool. Um, wow. 2014? <laughs> Was it that long ago? I have stories back from like 2013. That's insane to me to look back on. So yeah, that was a lovely stroll. And it was a lovely one shot. Haha. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I really hope to see you in another video. Bye!